Hi, and welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host. And you are looking at my amazing April giveaway. So I'm really, really excited to um, talk to you guys about everything that's in this giveaway. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and start right up with the yarn, all right? So the very first thing I wanted to show you guys is this beautiful Hobie yarn. I got this from Hobie um, in my um, Lucky bag, my, my cake lucky bag, and this is a S Sultan Deluxe Cotton King um, yarn that um, is in a very hard to pronounce name, um, but it, it is um, a rainbow spectrum, and I think that's just so gorgeous. This has over a thousand yards in it, and I believe it's a two weight, um, and it's just gonna, it's gonna make the most beautiful shawl. I would imagine, or anything you want to make with it. So we've got this. this, is so pretty. And we also have a shawl and a ball because you guys seem to really, really like them. Um, so this is the, a metallic, this is a metallic shawl and a ball, and this is called Lotus Blossom. And let me see how, it's a weight four, or it's, you're supposed to use it like a weight four and it has 481 yards in it so it's pretty big and it's got different colors of purple in there too it's very very pretty all right so the next thing i want to tell you about is this vitalana dusk in sanguine it's this really beautiful red color and i thought that that would go really well with my giveaway <laughs> so we have this vittle on a dusk I'll tell you about it it is 60% Hayakai alpaca 40% Surrey alpaca it is a DK weight 231 yards in each one of these so that's just over 460 yards of this beautiful beautiful knit crate yarn and again it's called sanguine very pretty and then you know how I've been teaching you guys how to make that beautiful fun shine blanket well i am including enough yarn for you guys to make it in three super saver ombres um in the color sunny and i am so excited to share this with you guys L L yellow is my absolute favorite color and i just think that this works up so pretty you don't have to make the blanket that i left the tutorial on um with it but i just figured i would put enough into um, this giveaway so that you could make it if you wanted to. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so moving on. So I have um, a few of the more typical things that I put in these giveaways. All right, so for your Notions pouch, um, I got this over the shoulder. It's got this, this nice long string for your shoulder. Um, this little purse, and you can um, get real creative on it and i have a knit crate logo pin i got that from a notions mystery box you guys saw me open earlier and i have these appliques this one says yarn queen and this one says it's a good day for yarn and you can just iron these on here if you want to or you can iron them on something else um and for the notions i also got you guys this whole thing of notions in here and I just wanted to kind of open it up and show you you have a tape measure you have some cable cabling needles you have um, or cable holders you've got this um, pl plastic needle and then you have also a metal needle in there then you have these little um, stitch markers these will open up like safety pins okay so these are these are for um, crochet see and um, you can use these for crochet or knitting. And um, these are the regular diaper pin looking ones. And then I have these, they, they kind of slide on, and, but they don't close. And maybe knitters might be more interested in those. But we've got a complete pack of notions. It'll go with that yarn. Okay. And then I also got you guys a full set of, I just kind of mixed them up, but it's a full set of crochet hooks. They're all aluminum. It goes from um, size D to K, all right? So that's 6.5 millimeters, and the D is 
3.25 millimeters. So from 3.25 to 6.5 millimeters. So you've got a lot of different sizes in there. So that's what I got you as far as your notions. Oh, I almost forgot your stitch counter. We've got a stitch counter. You just press this button right here to, um, or it's not a stitch counter, it's a row counter. You push this button right here every time you finish a row and it'll tell you which row you're on. And then you press this little button right here and to clear it and you can uh, just use this. You can either put it on your finger um, or you can just put it next down next to you down so that you can keep track of your rows. And I, I find those very helpful. I like them. So I'm just going to put these to the side so we can fit everything else on here. All right. So when I crochet or knit, I always have a book with me so that I can write down different things in it, like um, maybe draw some things out as far as um, what my project looks like. I like to keep track of how many um, stitch multiples are in my pattern and just odds and ends like that. You know, some of the problems I might have come across so I can um, change them in the future, that kind of stuff. So I got you guys this really nice um, little project journal here and that comes with two pens, sparkly pens. They have black ink. Um, I thought you guys might enjoy those. And since the coloring books were such a hit before, I also got you some coloring books. We've got the Elegant Designs of the Ages coloring books and Skittyscapes, Cityscapes, <laughs> a coloring book with a hidden picture twist. So there's like something hidden in each one of these pictures. But um, I thought it was pretty. I thought it was very pretty. So I thought you guys might like that too. Of course, we've got the Crayola watercolor pencils because we all know those um, other pencils, like the Rose Art ones and, and all, are, aren't, aren't as good. <laughs> um, I also got you guys a, a flower puzzle. I, I just love puzzles, and um, the puzzle piece kind of goes with some of the themes over here. And uh, I thought that you guys might enjoy getting a, a nice puzzle like this. It's 500 pieces, so I didn't get you a huge one. Something that you could do maybe with a child or two. <laughs> in an afternoon or something like that. Um, just something fun to welcome in spring. Now, um, the stuff over here is all kind of part of a theme. And if you saw my previous video, it's still up. It's not, not going anywhere. Um, you can find out a little bit more about these objects right here, but I'll just go ahead and tell you what they are. We've got um, several stickers, about 10 to 12 stickers there. We've got these really cool coil ponytail holders. They, they're nice because they don't pull your hair and it doesn't hurt your head when you have them on your, um, <laughs> on your head. It's hard to explain, but, but they're really nice <laughs> for people who dislike wearing ponytail holders. And I uh, got you some Shorty's candles. These are my favorite, favorite smell. It's, they're made with rose essential oil and it smells just like roses and it's so beautiful. And I had to get you guys a six pack of these because like I said, one of these can last me almost a month. Um, two of them, will, I'll, I'm definitely set for a month. So you, you'll get like three months worth of it if, if you light them like in the bathroom, for example, or something like that. Or if, if you just want to put it in a room, they, they're so potent, they fill up a room. It's really, really beautiful. And I wanted to share with you just some of the things that I love. And that's another reason why I put these in here. And then I, I have another one. I tried to make it gender neutral, but it's a little bit hard when you have like these slipper socks. And I, I understand that it's April, but I love these. And I wanted to give this to to one of my subscribers as well so we have got these these socks here that'll just be all nice and warm and toasty and um i try like i said i tried to get it in a gender neutral color but it's kind of difficult so for for my gentlemen that are watching this you know i tried <laughs> and then i'm just going to give a brief nod to to this in april we wear red um autism acceptance so this is Autism Acceptance Month, and I have autism, so I wanted to put something in there that had to do with autism, and so these stickers are also about autism awareness and and all of that, you know? 
And I just wanted to put this in here because maybe it could start a conversation if you decide to put your yarn in, in this bag and or use it as a grocery tote or something like that. It's a very nice bag. It's very durable. Um, this is this other bag that's blue is also part of the giveaway. And that is that's more like a grocery store tote and everything. It's it's still a good bag, but it's more like a grocery store tote. This one's this one's nicer. Um, and uh, the red instead is is about autism awareness versus autism acceptance. And um, and if you're familiar with uh, Autism Speaks, they have the Light It Up Blue on April 2nd for Autism Awareness Day. And so that's why I put blue in here, because blue is typically associated with autism. That's that's the color that we were assigned. But some people take issue with that because it was assigned based on ideas that are outdated. For example, that boys are the only people who have autism, for example, or or that maybe autism is sad or, or something that that is something that's more of a downer. Whereas the red instead um, is able to um, show our passion and, and, and those kinds of things. And instead of focusing on awareness and trying to fix autism, um, people who embrace the red instead, um, they want to find a way to accept people with autism rather than trying to fix something that maybe isn't broken, <laughs> you know? So that's all I really want to say about that. I did kind of go in more depth in another video that I posted today, but this is the giveaway. Okay, guys, <laughs> isn't this amazing? I have all that stuff that I showed you in there. Not all of it, just the notions and stuff that you saw me put in there. The Vitalon and Dusk, three Super Saver Ombres and Sunshine. And you know, this, the, getting the sunshine colorway is kind of difficult, so it's it can be difficult to find this this yellow colorway. So I, I wanted to make sure that you guys got at least at least one of you guys got one of those and the shawl and the ball and oh this beautiful hobi yarn is so pretty, isn't it? All right, so I'm sure you guys want to know how to enter and what you can do to win and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> all right, so let me go ahead and read you the terms and conditions. Here we go. YouTube is not associated with this giveaway in any manner. This is my giveaway purchased with my money for subscribers to my channel, which is Nichecraft. This giveaway is open to residents of the US and Canada. The monetary value of this giveaway is roughly 150 US dollars. To enter the giveaway, you must subscribe to Nichecraft, like this video, and leave a comment to this video with the word yarn in it, okay? I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 p.m. on April 30th, 2022. The random comment picker will be set to only pick a comment with the word yarn in it. So you must use the word yarn in your comment to qualify. If you win this giveaway, you must email me with a mailing address within 10 days of the announcement of the winner, okay? The, if the winner fails to send me an email by May 10th, 2022, I will be forced to pick a new winner on May 11th. Good luck, guys. You guys have got a lot of cool stuff to win here. I am so happy that I'm able to um, host this giveaway, too. And just know, you know, keep, keep entering these giveaways and eventually you'll win. Because I, I have giveaways that I'm putting up you know, constantly. And I try to pick out some really, really nice stuff for you guys when I, when I put them together. So my giveaways are going to be comparable to this every single time. Um, so that said, I really encourage you guys to like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification bell so you never miss a chance to win. Um, and check out some of my other videos. I've, I've got some videos out there about learning how to crochet and all of that. And I think it's pretty good content and maybe you guys would like it. I'm gonna stick around and maybe you like me. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you enjoy um, spending some time with me every day. That'd be nice, right? Thanks for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. And I will see you later on in my next video. Bye-bye.